And you're back on Double Kick on 99.9 Voice FM. We came as Romans, giving you lost in the moment. It's slightly, I don't know, slightly softer going for those guys. You know, it needs more, as we're saying in the studio, it needs more cowbell. Pretty much everything <laughs> needs more cowbell. We'll all agree with that. Uh, no warning, we found uh, they're solid kind of, you know, they start out as a rock and roll band, but there's some serious badass distortion pedals in there somewhere uh check out no warning that's like a rebel by those guys and hate more with evil within those guys can do no wrong at the moment uh but the fantastic news is we got the guys from upon world's end in the studio oh wait i'm so psyched to play this song but i've got another set in here so let's go with backstory how long have you guys been together well, i think we've been together for well really over two years we were I know another name for a, a little bit of the time and we struggled to find a vocalist for better half of that time and um, the name Upon World's End has only been known with us for a year now. Uh, we were mechanised before that for a brief period of time. Um, our styles have changed in that time. A lot. Um, like we've gone from six strings, seven strings to now eight strings, <laughs> four string bass to a six string bass and just, yeah, we, we're evolving and every yeah. song we're writing is evolving so the backstory is just just keeps adding up yeah i feel like this is our prog metal starts yeah now i started out with a four string bass and now it's 16 and two necks essentially yeah <laughs> 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 it's sounding good but yeah you guys have been around for a while and played you played a serious amount of shows this year and what last year and and collectively we started playing shows this year yeah, yeah um well, coming up, we're going to be playing at uh, Blisterfest in, yes. on the 4th, and that's going to be exactly seven months since we played our first show. Ah, oh, cool. Because we played our first show on the 4th of March, March. which was at um, Beyond Black, which was at yes. the Eastern down here. Yes, yeah. that was fantastic. Yeah. That's, a hell of a, that's a hell of a comeback, like, yeah. to go from one show to yeah, now releasing a serious single. Mm. Uh, but yeah, the next obvious question is: Are we getting what, an EP? Are we getting an album? Where are we going from here? What's next? Well, you can expect a uh, EP early next year. That's, that's good. That's good news. So we're seriously we're in the studio. This is what's happening now. Yeah. Good. Pretty much, we've started. We we start to like rework some songs, make some new songs. And try and pump this out and get this out because people are always asking us when are you making new music, when are you go release yeah. new stuff. So we first like we came out with um, this new track coming out, and once we had this, we we're like, yeah, we need to decide, we need to release something else with yeah. it. Yeah. Well, everybody's gonna want that. Everyone always wants more. Yeah. Oh, you're in a band. What do you play? Can I listen to it? Yeah, it's because people <laughs> pe people are greedy. They yeah, want more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goddamn it. fans. <laughs> the worst kind. <laughs> Actually, the me the metal fans too. Oh, you got to love them though. Oh, absolutely. Consider yeah, I suppose we are metal fans in a sense as well. Agree. So, I wouldn't say too harshly about that. But still, <laughs> <laughs> well, once you're in a band, that kind of ego starts to creep up a little bit. A like, little yeah. bit, yeah. You, you, yeah, it's sometimes like, I'm you in think a band. We suck. Come see us play. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go to. Every metal band starting out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have one more set, and then we are going to play this song. Uh, New Butcher Babies have put out a track. Their last track, uh, Monster Ball, was fairly terrible for these guys, but now they've put out a new one called Headspin. Uh, we're going to throw some Comeback Kid in here and some Stick to Your Guns as well. I've got a new one out. And then we'll come back, we'll play this track. We're going to hype the hell out of these guys. Uh, right, but right now, judge for yourself. Hey, this is Tim Charles from Nebula Viscaris, and you're listening to Double Kick on Voice FM. Stick to your guns married to the noise you friggin hope they were let's be honest uh still doing good stuff uh come back in, in there as well hell of a scene and butcher baby's in there with headspin which is wildly mediocre just you know i don't know we're yeah we're discussing bands in the studio there were some positive and some negatives in there let us know how you feel uh yeah they haven't come back for two albums now but uh, you never know, you never know. There was a Suicide Silence mentioned in there as well, so I don't think we're going to go that low. <laughs> but maybe, hey, you know what? You never know what the future holds. <laughs> Including these guys, Upon World's End, in the studio tonight. We have a track with Vermin coming right up. I'm super excited. But uh, yeah, we still need to know more about you guys. Uh, and we've got, what, local shows coming up really, really soon too with uh, Amber Ice. Yes. We're so keen for that. That's going to be on the... A Thursday night here in Ballarat. Yes, no, it's okay. Yeah. You guys can go to the show, not listen to this one, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's exactly um, two weeks from now. That's why we want to pump out the single, get it out before then, let people mm. hype it up and people enjoy it and 
hopefully load it and come and scream some words in my face. <laughs> some, mic grabs, some mic grabs would be nice. Yeah, and if some not, then I'll, I'll, I'll throw a mic onto Kai while he's drumming and stuff up the set and let him sing it. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, that's going to be with uh, the Motion Below. We've played with those guys before. Yes. They're, they're a good Melbourne band. Uh, Bury Me in Autumn, which definitely keen to hear some new stuff, stuff by them. And uh, yeah, and then basically we will hit up to play that. And also we have coming up, uh, we just got announced to uh, be uh, as Flesh Decays. Yeah, on their tour. Yeah, we're um, Hell yeah. we're so, replacing Feast of Crows for yeah. that show. Yeah, so oh, th- that's uh, November third, and then we have Blister Fest the next day on November fourth. So this is the first time that we'll be doing like a show back to back, and we're, we're super keen for that. It's going to be intense. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic, but yeah, there's a solid weekend in October where there's just metal gigs. Yeah, it's just yeah, that um, that Facebook calendar is filling up. It looks fantastic, and mostly with you guys. It's and always it's good. Freaking amazing. More shows we can get, the better. Like, yeah. we happen to notice that LA melodic death metal is once human decide they want to come down to our neck of the woods and play Ballarat, which is not often that we get a band of their caliber Ooh. coming down to a regional town. So. We would love nothing more than to get that local opening spot. I really think Upon World's End on a show with Once Human and Hollow World, who we have played with before, would be amazing. We've got to make that happen. I think we need everybody to get behind that one. Yeah, that we need like a Patreon right now, I think. Like get a petition going, online. sign it. Yeah. <laughs> we, need our, we just need our own plebiscite for it. So. <laughs> we'll get it in there. You vote yes or no. Plebiscite for us yeah. to play the show. No, just vote yes. <laughs> Or you leave it alone. Is this a yes or a double yes? Can yeah. someone have yeah. millions or... Yeah. Uh, it's, I have to pay it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd work. Yeah, you guys can sign you up to after pay. Uh, yeah, Once Human are... Oh, they're a fantastic band, but uh, yeah, like, Ballarat's not known for its regional tours, really. I think, what, the biggest metal bands we get through are King Parrot, and they're just nice enough to do regional and, shows. And Northland, which was absolutely yeah. huge, sold out at Corova. Like, this is going to be a little bit different, because it's not at Corova, it's not at Eastern, it's at the Miners Tavern. That's a very different venue for, yeah. for bands to come down and play, but it's good, it gives us another venue, finally. Mm. Yeah, this is it. We're crying out for bigger venues here, and, yeah, we've got, what, two. We've got the stock standard two. Yep. Uh, just play in the streets. Yeah. Do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, why not? <laughs> flatbed truck. <laughs> yeah, flatbed yeah, truck. Garova does the street parties mm. rather well. Blocks off that street. If but, they uh, only done it for metal. Oh, it'd be amazing. The metal festival. We haven't had... Oh, we had one a few months ago now, but yeah, we are just crying out for more metal venues. Even uh, Yeah, we get skipped over. We get to go to Bendigo. Yeah. We get Music Man, and they get, they've actually got a three, couple of... Three flights of stairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> carrying all that gear up. Yeah, That'd be too much. Great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah. So people hate Corova stairs. And they, no, they, they are nothing compared <laughs> to the Music Man in Bendigo. And then they go to Bendigo. Yeah, and they go ah, shit. Yeah. Well, the good thing about Bendigo is that each floor you go up, there's a different like side of music on each floor. Mm. So trippy. Every <laughs> every floor was different. It's like walking into a different world. By the time we finally got up on stage, all of us were too knackered to even play. Yeah. <laughs> That's because I like bolted to the place, and you guys were going to come pick me up, and then I was like, no, nah, I'll run there, and I was knackered. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, thankfully that, um, who, who was it? Um, Sephira's Wall. Wall. They nice. replaced us for big opening, and then we went after them, which we're very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> you needed to cool down yeah. before you went on stage. Yeah. That's, yeah, the other way around. you got to hype yourself up and then... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, but sir, enough hype. I think it might be time to play it. So we need a solid opening. How do you sell this track to your audience? You well, can hear the bass in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> can you though? Sell. <laughs> well, you can you can dedicate this song to all the backstabbers. So, Ooh, okay. Because they need to know that like this world is the jungle, and they need to know their place, and that you're the serpent and they're the vermin. Holy crap, right, oh, we cannot get any better than that. Let's hear this track. Hey, everybody, this is Peter from In Flames, and you're listening to Double Kick. That is brand new, brand new, and I mean literal, like, baby born new from Upon World's End. That is some seriously tasty stuff right there, guys. How are you feeling now? It's out in the world. Loving it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Loving it. Loving it. It's been, we've been longing so long for people to hear that track. As, as soon as like we first demoed it, we're just like, oh, this is groovy, this is nice, and now it's out there. It's been mixed wonderfully by our main man Kai here. Hey. 
do himself. We are a DIY band, of course. <laughs> we, can, we can't afford studios. Yeah, we, we're, we're, we're broke. That's why we need more shows. We're broke. <laughs> no, well, well, like today, um, we did um, a DIY setup for Band Prac. <laughs> <laughs> Makeshift PA, which worked very well. <laughs> Running Such... through a DVD player. Do you, do you reckon Bunnings <laughs> could sponsor us? Like... <laughs> Yeah, but that, that DIY endorsement. <laughs> that track, uh, I, I love it. I hope everyone else loves it. Absolutely, it's definitely a winner. Um, it's definitely a level up from your last track. Uh, but I've got to ask the mixer, how do you feel? Are you positive now? I'll I'll, listen, I'll let you know in a year. <laughs> <laughs> See, we'll just retrack it in a year and then re-release it. That's what we do every year, just re-release a song. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah, we have the yeah more polished version of Vultures here, which we might throw on a bit later. Mm. But uh, yeah, it seems like the studio sessions are going really well. You guys have got, got it together. How do you go recording, though? Is there a solid process there, or is it just kind of throwing stuff in and see what sticks? Oh, basically, whenever I come down, because I live down in the southeast suburbs of Melbourne, so it takes me about three hours to get here, so I don't come down that much, uh, like much often. But um, come and slum it down in Ballarat. You know yeah. yeah. Mm. But when I do come down, basically, uh, we hope to get uh, like a track, a whole song, every time I come down. That's what I aim for. Pressure. And when we're in the studio recording, I'll probably like track one line of vocals and then we'll listen back to it like three times be like oh no I'll probably do that better I'll probably add something to it and thankfully I have like one of the guys there with me telling me something that I could do to improve or something that could might sound cool and we did kind of just bounce off each other which is good and then we end up producing something that we love and yeah then we hope that people love as well yeah, it's sounding it's sounding like a solid unit. But is there a solid uh, songwriting process? Is there someone responsible for the songwriting, or is it a band as a whole? It really is a, a full band operation. Um, like me, myself, and our other guitarist Tim and Andy, our bassist, we'll we'll sit back throughout the week or whatever, and we'll just come up with some riff ideas and demo stuff, and we we'll get it across to Kai as soon as we can, and he'll sit down and and work on some stuff as well, guitar stuff with us as well. Um, he's got a, a fair chunk of writing credit guitar wise on this on the, the what well, will be on the EP as well and um, he'll put his drums and everything to it we'll all come around we'll listen to it we'll figure out what we want to change or you know it's it's rare but it does happen it happened with vermin where from start to finish the way it was laid out how it started how it, it was how it ended it it's a track that really shows where we're at with our writing ability that we can just pull it out of nowhere and not have to do a great deal of work on it to make it sound as good as it does. Yeah, that's a seriously underrated ability is just to knock out a song and go, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Yeah. That never happens. <laughs> it's rare. <laughs> oh, it's rare, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, someone goes, oh, you made a song. Yeah, fair enough. You go, no, you don't understand, man. <laughs> that's been six months, a lot of beer and a lot of arguments. <laughs> the songwriting process, it sucks yeah. for most people. But it sounds like you guys are growing and just evolving as a whole band and uh yeah we can't wait to hear this ep as well can't wait to get it there for everybody absolutely so we need to learn the words to this yeah for your next show so absolutely. we need to put them up online now and get well, it out I can, i'll i'll I'll, ch- I'll do that right now i'll chuck it up but <laughs> you know everything will be on Bandcamp tomorrow yeah true i'm lazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah everything will be on uh, online tomorrow you can check it out and yeah, it'll be on Bandcamp with the lyrics, or it'll also be on Spotify tomorrow. Uh, be on iTunes, be on Google Play. We're cr- going on everything. We're, we're yep. going all out there. Confess the last time we just went on Bandcamp and YouTube, and of course Facebook. But we're, yeah. yeah, we're broadening our horizons now and getting it all out there. So you can all learn the words. Stuff comes out tomorrow. You pick it up, listen to it anyway, stream it, and yeah, just come down October nineteenth, nineteen, nineteen, and um, yelled at me at Kroger. Absolutely, I think yeah, solid. Yeah, we need to learn those words and get that solid chorus, metals, at, metal horns, and lighters in the air. You can do that for a breakdown in there to work well. Uh, yeah, well, we mentioned again. Yeah, you guys are on uh, Facebook. The Facebook page is going massively, and you're on basically every other streaming service there is. Yeah. Yes, and it'll be out tomorrow. Yeah. Are we going to get a time on that, or is it going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow. <laughs> when, when Make him wait. Yeah, like you could probably go on there like. 12am if you really wanted to probably rock up 
It'd probably be though, yeah. We'll keep we'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to throw it around a bit. Uh, it's sounding fantastic, guys. We're seriously happy, and we can't wait till the nineteenth with uh, yeah Amber Eyes doing the regional tour with Motion Below, Bury Me in Autumn, and Upon World's End. Mm-hmm. All right, is there anything you else want to say? We're gonna throw it out there. Anything else that I could say on the air? Right now, the, the base, the base. I could be very be. explicit, but I think I'll hold it to myself. <laughs> yes. But I'd like to say, Tim, brother, if you if you're listening, you're fired, man. You're out of the band. <laughs> but in all serious, man, we love you very much, and we hope you're enjoying your time in Sydney and come back soon. Fantastic. All right, one last question. I throw it to you guys. I gave you some prep time before. But for all the power in the world to tour with anyone, past or present, who's it gonna be? Straight up, all of us can agree. For, for the like very first, it's always gonna be Bay Art, isn't it? Absolutely, it's always yeah. gonna be Bay Art. Well, yeah, those guys are doing things. I think we got. Wouldn't it. mind yeah. playing with Once Human. <laughs> just out there. You know, just while we're on here, we just like promote ourselves just for that show, just for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we agreed on Jack Johnson. No, we hit up Barry White. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this festival's getting weird. Really <laughs> fast. Uh, I'm not saying I wouldn't go. <laughs> you know, well, we have to cover all bases. Let's yeah. just open for Mr. Bungle. Oh, yeah, <laughs> man. Done. That could work. Done. Yeah? Yeah. A diverse crowd. Why not? No, Viardi's no. Murder is a solid choice. I think maybe the first time we've had those guys. No. We may have had them before, but hey, they're doing stuff now. Just keep hitting up CJ and the fellas mm-hmm. and see what sticks. You know, just send them this song and go, by the way, got a new track you should listen to. Yeah, you come down Ballarat, you know. Yeah, exactly. You can yeah, really well. hear the bass in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> the vocals yeah. are pretty shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. We need to get into some new, uh, <laughs> more metal. Uh, but it's fantastic having you guys in the studio. We cannot wait for this EP or the 19th and Blister Metal Fest as well. And a couple other gigs coming up, I'm pretty sure. As Flesh Decays yes. with Film and Resist and a couple of others at the East End, November 3rd. Yes, that's the, the amazing all local Ballarat metal. It's why we're here, basically. Uh, but we've got to go massively across the country for the next one, which is Cradle of Filth, which announced an Australian tour next year, which is going to be insane. They released this, though. Hi, this is Danny from Cradle of Filth, and you're listening to Double Kick on 99.9 Voice FM. Beast in Black coming in there with some seriously impressive keyboards going on in there. What the hell? <laughs> it's working well for me, don't get me wrong. Uh, and a spear in there as well for those about to fight for metal it was a solid chanting fist in the air song and Cradle of Filth with achingly beautiful achingly beautiful if I can freaking pronounce that right but those guys are going to be in the country next May so next year's shaping up uh, and the guys from up on World's End are still in the studio we're talking about all things and just well how much being in a band <laughs> is Maybe weighing a bit. <laughs> and uh, positives and negatives, let's put it that way. It costs a lot of money. It does. <laughs> All right, so what are you guys listening to at the moment? What's going in your new metal playlist? Mm. Oh, new, new metal. Um, new Die Out of Murder. Yeah, oh. everyone's listening to that album. I, I've been listening to a lot of... I, I know it's not that new. It came out actually quite... Probably about a month or no, a couple of months ago. Um, the new Gloom in the Corner uh, EP, uh, EP uh, Homecoming. So that's called Homecoming. Uh, but I've also been listening to some old music lately. Like there's a band called Earthender. It's old Melbourne yes. gro- like groovy band. Yeah. And um, I used to always go see those ba- those guys live and freaking jam and the, the last EP they made and then their other EP was. Uh, they're hands down one of my all-time favorite Melbourne bands. I'm just waiting for October 26 for the new Trivium album. Uh, I'm sitting in the sentence, yeah. I cannot wait. It's going to be brilliant. I've been uh, jamming the new Amber Eyes. Flug that well, band. Well, well done. <laughs> <laughs> also, the new uh, uh, Initiate Jericho from Brisbane. Ooh, yeah. Heavy. Oh, no, I've also been listening to that. I forget the band that you showed on last week, World Verse 1. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really we were straight away as soon as you played that we were like who, wait, who are these guys wait what and he's like oh well best one it's like thank, thank you for repeating that like four times you know, <laughs> yeah. Really yeah, no, this is why we were repeating that <laughs> this is why I'm introducing you guys as upon world's ends for the 15th time and we put it up on Facebook and we put it in the Ooh. everywhere just because you listen to the radio and you go wait where the shit was the fuck yeah, yeah shit they're gone forever 
Yeah, yeah. Th- th- those guys were impressive. Freaking two piece band. Yeah. Like, Tasmanian. Don't even they don't sound Tasmanian. <laughs> what does a metal Tasmanian band sound like? Well, this like? sounds like it sounds <laughs> like it's going on this tour. It, sound like. <laughs> it sounds like Zero Light is what it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, go and hit so those guys up. Dude. Tour down in Tassie. Yeah, they yeah. freaking love that. Yeah. Should set up a show. Well vs. One, Zero Light, One World Down. See what Psychoptics yeah. doing while we're yeah. there, shall we? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. 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 Just plugging it on air real quick. <laughs> <laughs> just keep going. You never know who's just listening. Just keep talking. Just keep from that. It's like world versus one and upon worlds and world versus one. Hey, we should, grab, we should grab Hollow World as well. Yeah, you could do a world tour. <laughs> <laughs> and be ridiculously just the opposite way of going about that. Do three shows or four shows and call it a world tour. He's like, when, when the world is actually ending is when we do a world tour. It's like next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys better get on that. Oh, <laughs> I do see a few hats around here, though. You guys have got some serious merch going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, love it. yeah. How do we buy local merch? Go to a show, number one. Contact the bands, see if they can send you something. It's what I've always done with the Hazard Circular. And, and, yeah, true. I mean, that, well, I suppose it helps that vocalist Ryan lives around the corner from me, so yeah. it's first into merch. But um, Just go to a show. Or just sure. contact them. I mean, some bands they they have their their uh, like big cartel pages and stuff like that. You can go and get whatever merch you want, but it's better to go to a show. Support the band always, face More to face. Right. Always, yep, true. And ho- hopefully, hopefully, in like next coming months or early into next year, we'll probably have our own run of merch going. Awesome. And best way, yeah, come to a show, pick up something, talk to us. Tell us you like our crap so we can continue. We know that it's worth it. <laughs> so you can get some free shit out of the band, yeah. Yeah, if one person comes up to me and just like, you know, if shit, it, shit, I'll be like, okay, I'm gone. If you say you like us, we'll uh, give you a hug. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have any a merch, I apologise. Yeah. I don't know, I'm have to pay for the hug. You know what I mean? Got to make money somehow. Well, I'm free. Yeah, that's we don't, a dark road yeah. you're going down there. If you're We've, paying for a hug... You can pay me Where for anything. That, yeah. Where does that twenty mean? bucks is twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah, he's a very easy man. <laughs> we don't very get the money from the show. Easy. Try to sound cheap now. Wow. <laughs> no, we said you're easy, not cheap. Classy. Yeah. yeah. Cheap, classy. I think. Is it? There's something in there. It's Ballarat. For the right price, Just you'll cheap. be whatever you yeah, want. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. All right, we definitely need to play some more metal. Uh, we've got to do all things gig news coming up. We've given you about half of it tonight, but uh, actually, I'm really excited to play these guys, Magnetron. These guys hit me up this week. They're from Melbourne. They're doing fantastic things. Um, just solid Aussie metal. I can't say anything else other than this track's called Rolling On. Hey, what up? It's Dan from Suicide Sounds, and you're listening to Double Q. Man. Ah, oh, that. Yeah, that's got me going. There's some fist pumping action happening right there. Uh, novelist before that with lead, lead the light. I cannot talk at the moment. I just let the upon world end guys out of the studio. Ran back up the stairs. And now I'm out of breath.